While the Dominion War was one of the most significant events in recent history of Star Trek, so too was its aftermath. For the Alliance, Starfleet entered the war with 8,800 vessels. At the signing of the Treaty of Bajor, it only had 3,200 ships remaining in its active fleet. But that wasn't all. Starfleet lost over half a million highly trained officers and personnel. This, coupled with the loss of 22 million civilians, left Starfleet with a bittersweet victory. The Klingons started the Dominion War with 6,500 ships. Thanks in part to Gowron's mismanagement during the later stages of the war, they ended the conflict with roughly 1,350 ships still intact, but most of those were operating at 50 to 75 percent capacity. Additionally, nearly 200,000 Klingons were killed and ground in space combats. Despite the entering the war late, the Romulan Star Empire lost over 5,500 ships and almost 250,000 casualties as well. The total loss of life for the Alliance clocked in at 22.9 million, with 16,250 ships destroyed. For the Dominion, the organization itself wasn't very affected by the outcome of the war. Instead, the founders knew that the replenishing of lost Jem'Hadar wouldn't be difficult and the production facilities tucked away in their home quadrant were still intact. With that being said, estimates for Dominion losses tally up to roughly 350,000 personnel killed with 4 to 7,000 ships destroyed. The Cardassians weren't so lucky. After they turned on their Dominion allies, their loss of life topped almost 1 billion Cardassians. Additionally, an estimated 4,250 ships were destroyed during the war. As for the Breen, no accurate information is available on record regarding the total loss of life or equipment for the secretive faction. Total loss of life for the Dominion Cabal is an estimated 950 billion with 8,250 ships destroyed. These numbers are based on the lowest possible calculations and also don't include the Breen figures since they are unavailable. The three alliance factions remained in close contact following the end of the war. For the Romulans, tensions between them and the Federation began to thaw. Having fought side by side against a common enemy, a newfound respect was beginning to grow. The Klingon Empire found itself in a vulnerable position, relying on diplomacy to keep the peace while it licked its wounds and began to rebuild their fleet near Kronos. And finally, Starfleet began rebuilding its armada almost immediately. Relying on the Federation member worlds for support and manufacturing, it wasn't long before the fleet was back up to full strength. The overwhelming majority of Starfleet command was focused on rebuilding a democratic Cardassian government, relief operations, and diplomatic relations with the weakened Romulan Star Empire. However, some felt that the lessons learned from this conflict were that of isolation, and that Starfleet needed to focus on itself and not exploration. These different ideologies would later lay the groundwork for the future wars to come. In the aftermath of the Dominion War, the Cardassian Union collapsed. Member worlds seceded and started revolting against the now destroyed Atapa Council. With law gone, so went order. Pirate and raider attacks tripled throughout the sector, and many innocent colonies were wiped out. While the Federation helped to rebuild the Cardassian government, the people of Cardassia would never be the same again. This concludes the final video of the Dominion War Catracark series. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I hope that you all found it rather entertaining and informative. I do want you guys to know that most of this information came from the Dominion War series books and also the RP book, the Dominion War source book, Fires of Armageddon, uh, that was written up by uh, Stephen S. Long. Uh, so those individuals uh, are the ones that kind of brought all of this information together and then I was able to funnel it into a hopefully enjoyable uh, video series. We will be continuing the Catra Kark video series with another massive event for Star Trek Multiverse. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and release what that information is now, but I will be teasing that in my next video. If you found this video fun and entertaining, please throw a like and a subscribe up on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at RealKetWalski, and I will see all of you guys and gals next time. Live long and prosper, my trickies!